<laughs> Why are we live? It's since you're watching our live, the ride live, season one, episode one. Mm. Inception, should we watch ourselves? Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are we live? You're live. Oh, we're live. We're live. We're live. Right. Welcome cool. to the ride live here at Guild Trap Skoda in Newmarket, Auckland, New Zealand. Put a pin on it because it's right here. Hello, guys. Hello, Tim. Hello, John. Paige. John. Hey, Tim. <laughs> hey. We always start this way. Yeah. How many Ks have you done this week, roadie? Well, if we were taking Ks on road, uh, very few. If we're taking Ks on the trainer. I know, I'm not interested in this trainer. Just tell us how many trainer Ks. Trainer Ks. You know do, how it do trainer Ks count? Yes. How many I have Ks? no idea. Probably about four hours, possibly. Four hours. Okay. On the trainer. What, what well, day the were irony on? of you saying that is I was out riding on the roads this morning. I saw a teammate of yours. Oh, did you? Yeah. So quite concerned that maybe he was, you know, He's out riding your Ks sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, news this week, or news fact just today, Shimano have dropped... GRX, the world's first dedicated gravel adventure component series. The world's first group set for riding on gravel. But gravel? So it's they're okay. making a group set to ride on gravel. In fact, the press release says it is for fast and assured capability on loose surfaces. But so they got it. Why would you need? The, I mean, I love this. Difference? I'll take a new group set any day. Why do you need a special group set for a different sort of road surface? Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting one to bring out, like, a very specific, you know, like, you would have thought a road could have, you know, done the same thing, but I do a bit of gravel riding myself, and I only just moved up to Auckland about a year ago. I actually traded in my track bike for a gravel bike. Yeah, I just, it just, it intrigued me. But what I love about it is that you go driving, and you'll drive on tarmac, but you won't drive on gravel, so right. you kind of go where you've never been before. Right. And so you, it's just these new roads, and I've been over to Waiheke and been around some of those roads, been out to Puhoi Way. It's just like something you wouldn't normally ride on, like, cause you're not going to go on your mountain bike on the gravel roads, you're going to go through the forest. Yeah. So it's kind of just like a, open up a whole new, you know, surface, a whole new, you know, I don't know, world of possibilities new, out there. A new and is that the attraction? A new bike? A reason to buy a new bike, yeah. Because I'm going to need a bike with GRX. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going to want... But what, am I going to get the 1 by 11 or the 2 by 11 or the 1, the 2 by 10? You know, there's the options. There's options. And it's DI2 and it, or it's mechanical. There's different levels. There's RX 800, 600 or 400 series. It's, it's a full suite. It's a whole new world of gear. Yeah. I mean, but if we're talking DI2, like what, what do you guys ride? I know you're kind of... I'm old mechanical. school, yeah, mechanical. Old school. Yeah. Oh, that's super no. new old school. school. Old school. Yeah, I'm new school, but right. not DI two. Oh, really? Haven't quite upgraded to that yet. Ah. You know what? I'm bad enough with keeping my lights charged, <laughs> let alone <laughs> DI two. So, <laughs> I guess it's unboxing time now. So uh, we we can't unbox the GRX. It's not here yet, but we will when we get it. Right now, though, I want to show you guys this little baby that's just dropped into our inbox for unboxing. This is the uh, Laser Bullet 2.0. MIPS helmet. So um, you guys would be probably familiar with the concept of MIPS, are you, Paige? Well, not really. It's quite, well, I mean, it's a new concept and I've heard of it, but I actually don't know what it does and what the difference is. Well, we'll show you as we go. So this okay. is the laser helmet. This is how you it comes. You should actually watch the MIPS video on the Ride YouTube channel if you get the chance. Oh, so Tim's done one. Starring. So you're the man in the know. Uh, well, <laughs> it's been a while, subscribe. I may have forgotten something. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> like and subscribe, shift the stuff out of the way. So there's your, there's your laser, that's how it comes. Look at this little bag. First thing you notice when you take it out of the box is that it... Ooh. Oh, man. That's serious. First impressions? It looks aero. First, first impressions are black. All right, okay. going go for the, <laughs> go for the it's colour thing. It's something a chip like, would say, but well yeah. Well noticed. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean, it's all about the look. Is okay. black fast enough? So let's have a look at it. Ooh. First thing I notice, a little bit oh, wow. heavier than your normal road helmet. Can have a feel of that. What do you reckon oh, about? Yeah, slightly. Well, it would be. It'd but be I mean, is like that just the packaging on the inside? or <laughs> Mid-300s yeah, no, in the, in the grams bit, weight, yeah. as opposed to, you know, late 100s, early 200s for a really light road yeah. helmet. But I it mean, is it's that trade-off between aerodynamics, right, and weight. Yeah, it is supposed to be faster than last year's bullet. Mm. And so, you know, about at 58, what do they say in the press release? At 58.68 kilometres per hour, 
So if you can, okay. if you can manage to hit that speed, that's like you'll save speed. yourself, what do they say, seven watts um, at that speed. Oh, so that's actually a decent amount. It's a decent amount of know? wattage. So the thing with this one is it's got, let's have a look at what we yeah, get so in the box. Yeah, so what's the silver stuff? And, and then you've got yourself a little bag here, a what baggie. What's that for? This is for okay. your visor. Oh, very nice. Okay, so the visor can we, can we get? thoughts Can we get visors? it modelling? Visors, oh, oh yeah, oh, no, you look a bit hard out, eh? It looks, it like, looks you like you're going to go and do a time yeah. trial, yeah, or you're going to head on to the track or something. Yeah, it looks like race mode, when and really we don't... Yeah, you turn up to a weekend weekend session, and if the weekend session's hard out, oh, really lost it. obviously that'd be pretty good. Lesson number one, put the visor on after you don the helmet. So now, what do you think? Looks silly on the road, out with the... No, the guys. no, I like it. No, actually, quite sexy. Yeah. yeah. No, that's nice. So comes out the back a fair bit, like almost going for that almost teardrop sort of look these days. Yeah. I mean, the helmets have gone from that full teardrop, right, to like shorten it up a little mm. bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little, a bit of an alien look out, yeah. the, out the back there. What do you think? I really how like does, it. How does it feel? Comfy yeah, enough? It feels nice. super comfy. You've got to say these laser helmets do. I ride a laser helmet to work for oh, my commuter yeah. helmet, and it's very good. Not this one, obviously, because it's got. I need to give them a go. You yeah, got your what, venting? What yeah, so the S, the, oh. This is called the air slide, and you've got different ways. If you look in that bag, you've got so you the get. different covers for the air slide, which can either offer you permanent venting, which this one has, or you've got the aero version, which will close it completely. Complete yeah. close on. Then you've got yeah. the one which slides up, so you have oh, a full so aero quite slide nice. down. Coming into winter, yeah. you could don the full, you know, for a yeah, little bit of Yeah, keep the rain off yeah. so the rain doesn't... Well, I don't ride in the rain, but yeah, you could if you did ride in the rain, sure. <laughs> so you've got <laughs> three options for the cover inside there. You've got the beautiful bag. Shall we see how the bag the goes, own. shall we? No, no. Shut that kind of on. And then if you want to take, when you want to take this off, it gets dark or whatever. So magnetic? Because you're out riding so long, of course it gets dark. And well, you, you just know, keep all day yeah. just comes it's to... It magnets on. Okay. Yes. I've not d tried this before, obviously. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I can't quite get it, but it does go real well. And then if you... Is it sticks on the back. Oh, really? The back. Is there like a, a glass a garage? Really? You can get your mates to do it. Let's have a look. What do we... Can you see the magnet where it sticks onto? Uh, oh, here, at the top. Is that? Oh, wow. Is that, is that a, just do, you reckon, do you reckon that's it? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to go gravel riding with that. Oh, no. That pop off. No, you get your GRX helmet if you've got gravel riding. <laughs> so it's like go. it could go either way. There could be all... Oh. <laughs> 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 you're going to lose that. <laughs> so that's what comes in the box. And of course, as well, you've got a little... Sort of some inexplicable pieces like... What's that for? It's a grommet of some sort. Could be for this. To go in here. One of these, there you go. Goes, oh, yeah. that, look, is that the extra magnet you're looking for? Oh. All right, I think before we go any further, Paige, maybe we get an Instagram photo of John yeah, with nice. the helmet on. Should we get a selfie in the stage? Sel selfie with selfie with John. <laughs> nice, John. Get in there. I'll just look. Oh, hang on, I'll look at oh, it. Yeah, put the visor on because that makes it all oh, nice. Look at us go. Hey, get the scooter in the background. Then, you? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. <laughs> Nailed it. So that is the uh, laser bullet 2.0 MIPS. And we did say we'd say what MIPS is. It's multi-directional directional impact protection system. That's the thing that's on the inside there. If you can see that mic, uh, M, if you can get that. You can see the yellow. That is the signature of a MIPS helmet, those little yeah. yellow um, spots. The idea is that if you have an impact that would normally impart a twist on your head mm. that would um, give you an injury of twisting and okay. moving, what will happen is that the shell will move independent of the inside part that's, that's next to your head. Uh, so it okay. will spin, the helmet will spin on your head rather than your head spinning, spinning. on your spine. Yeah, got it. And that is the, that's what you get. So you pay a weight penalty for, a mince and a, for MIPS and a price penalty, but the it's MIPS supposed the, to is be the worth MIPS, it. Is MIPS the weight part, though, of it? It's slightly heavier. No, no, it's, it's the aero bit. Also. Yeah, the okay. aero part is a bit that adds the weight, but the MIPS okay. is, is literally that membrane, so it's... A, it's quite cold, It's though. pretty light. Yeah, I like it. Looks Great. good. So, Emma, nice. what's next on our agenda here at the Ride Live here in the uh, Guild Trap Street, Skoda, Newmarket, New Zealand, Auckland? Well, I think, uh, I think Tim's got um, some comments uh, regarding some of the youth that are coming through in the mm. Yeah. 
So, I don't know what you guys, uh, whether you actually follow any of the World Tour stuff. I'm sure you follow some of the female riders. Mm -hmm. um, Sexist. But, well, well yeah. I follow lots of the male ones. Yeah, I was going to say there's plenty um, of nice guys to follow. And, and especially when they're as sexy as Matthew van der Poel, oh. who's just We've, a hottie mm. on a bike, quite honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I, all these youngsters are pretty much coming through the ranks Showing the old boys how to do it. And when I say old mm. boys, I'm talking like 29. That's real old. That's mm. real old. Yep. Real old. But there's, there's quite a few coming through. So with the new uh, Ineos, the old Sky mm. team, they now have uh, Bernal. Uh, yep. They have Ivan Souza, mm -hmm. who I think they're only like 21 or 22. They're pretty, oh, pretty young. And they're all, you know, vying for Jesus. On these big teams, on teams like on, Ineos. On because huge teams, yeah. yeah. Bernal played a key part in um, Thomas's win at the tour last year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, he pulled up some of those mountains as, yeah. as well as ever, and he did it day in, day he out, just podium. constantly powering up. So are you contending, Tim, uh, that this year at the Grand Tours, we're going to see the emergence of these really young riders mm. actually being supported to win, to supported to race for GC? I think mm. I think there will be some that are going to be supported to win, but I think a lot of them will be... Some of them are going to be riding for their own GC positions right. soon, I think. Yeah. Um, and there's just, there's just so many of them. And you see things like the uh, Tour of Colombia, where I think it was stage six, where it was literally like watching an amateur race with everybody just <laughs> hammering each other. Attacks. You know, attack here yeah. and attack there. Yeah. And just, it was kind of last man standing. And yeah. it was actually uh, brutal. Quintana that won the stage oh, in the oh, end. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, don't yeah. watch it. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, you're going to watch that when you go home as well. Um, so, okay, you're, 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 so you're telling young us one. that the, the youngsters are coming, and then you're the saying that it will happen in this stage, but can t the 29-year-old won. Well, what I'm saying <laughs> is experience usually Still wins. Plays yeah, a part. Class. But is it changing the way that we're seeing racing? Because if you watch um, Matthew Vanderpol's win in the Amstel Gold, um, oh. That sorry, spoiler Brute, alert. Yeah. You haven't seen it. <laughs> um, <laughs> like they were talking about the way that he throws his dice, the way that he races more like a gravel road, yeah. like he's got GRX on his bike, the way that he races in a different way. So you reckon these youngsters are sort of changing the way the races are happening? Yeah, absolutely. So that Amstel Gold race, you know, it was like 45 k's to the end. He literally threw in the hardest attack, mm. and generally just dropped everybody. Mm. He did die at the top of the hill yeah. and everybody caught back on and you know you have all the tv cameras watching each of the little groups you had the the breakaway so you had a fugal sang and julian anna philippe mm. away in the break it looked like a whitewash it looked like it was yeah. over and done but they sat there they played around and van der Poel just sat on the front brought the whole brunch through yeah. caught them in the last 600 yeah. meters and led the sprint out and yeah. still beat everybody. You know who he looks like Who's on that? a bike? Sam Gaze, New Zealand, oh, yeah. New Zealand mountain bike legend, yeah. multiple yeah, world does. champion on the mountain bike. Yeah. When I look at Ma Matthew Vanderpoel and the way he rides a little bit, he rides mm. a little bit like Sam just Gaze. Hard. Just, just a big man say. with so much power, Fe a fearless yeah. rider. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, they must, because they both, um, I've never seen them race against each other, but I'm sure we will this year. They probably have before. Before yeah. I'd love to see them here. Did Sam Gaze ride track at all? Yeah, he did. He's had a few cracks. Yeah. Yep. He's done, done quite a few of the points races on the track okay. on the old occasion. But I think, it, I mean, at the end of the day, he goes with his passion, which is mountain biking, and he's yeah. really good at it, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. I mean, but he's had a bit of sickness, I think, over the right. last, what I've been reading on social media over the last um, few months. So I understand that, um, you know, he's going to have a tough time getting back into it. But, I mean, right. world champs are at the end of the season, so yeah. he's still got a bit of time up his sleeve. He'll tear Tokyo 2020 apart, Sam oh, yeah. Gaze, and then he'll go to the road. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see between him and Cooper, right? Because we saw the one two at Com Games mm. a few years ago. So, yeah, we could... Was that the one that was a bit of a spat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's off the spat at the end, so... Don't talk about that yeah. one! <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about the Com Games! But it would be so great to see the same oh, finish. Yeah. 
you yeah. know, at Tokyo, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. Well, yeah. that's a lovely yeah. dream, isn't it? Yeah. Matthew Vanderpol probably have something to say about that. Well, gosh, I mean, that, that boy, he went to, um, he came third at the last, at World Champs, right, Vanderpol, and then um, went on to that Amstel race, and then fourth at the Rondi, the, the last Flanders. Yeah. Yeah, Flanders, Flanders, Flanders is yeah, Flanders, I mean... He yeah, can do anything, that guy. Three times Dutch champ, three different multi uh, disciplines. But when it comes to uh, female riders, mm. it was on the news the other day about one of our Kiwi girls on Zwift. I have no, I yeah. can't remember her name. Yeah, Ella. So Ella Harris. So, um, I mean, incredible. It's just getting into those pro teams is an achievement in itself. Yeah, I mean, and how do you so do it tough. from so far away? Correct, down in Dunedin. Yeah. I mean, little old Dunedin. And so, along the shorts, there was a bit of a Zwift comp. You know, we all know Zwift these days, the PlayStation for old people. And <laughs> so, um... <laughs> like the PlayStation for old people! It's you, mate. Oh, I've never heard it put like that. <laughs> At least it's active, you know? It's kind of like... There goes our one? Zwift we, um, sponsorship. What was that? W... Um, we, that the yeah, people yeah, used to be at, like, yeah, for tennis. Nintendo, but, yeah. but, yeah, in the tennis, you got to... Um, but anyway, so she entered a comp, ended up doing really well. Next thing you know, she's gone on a team camp and it comes down for the last three and they have to get out on the road. So this yeah. is for Canyon Sharam. Uh, they did this comp and so you know, she was the winner of the Swift comp and that's how she won her pro contract. So pretty incredible, Ella Harris from down in Dunedin, keep an eye out for good her way to, Good way to choose a pro though, right? Let's find the strongest person in the world as proved by yeah. Swift. Yeah, you know, let's, just, let's just get the hey, measurements and just do it. Also, I've seen UK are now doing a e-bike national champ. Oh, the e-championships. So yeah, one by one by a vlogger called Cameron Jeffers. How? Uh, okay. You know, like uh, there's, there's some there's basic there's questions here. Okay, Number go one, on then. How do? Is it who's got the best battery charge? <laughs> <laughs> is it who's got the lowest weight <laughs> <No>. on <laughs> loose surfaces? Well, no, no there is def there's a definite art to riding on Zwift, so you, you do oh, have so to use your power-ups at the right time. Okay. So, so it is like a game. So oh, it's okay. a good so it was an e-bike championship. No, e... S sorry, yeah, no, e not E-racing, so not e-bikes, e okay. but e-racing. So, so, yeah. you, so you sit on Zwift okay. and right. you, you okay. compete against other people. Right. Yeah. So, so you do get your power-ups, it is, it is a game. So what is a power-up? So you can a non here. As, as, as you go past a certain point, whether it's a start or a finish, okay. you you it's like a roulette wheel pops up these different things, and yeah. it's like you could either win points when you get points. It's like oh, I don't want points. Okay. Or you get maybe an error helmet, which gives you a slight advantage oh, on the hills where you get a Oh, it's just you it's just because uh, you're going fast or you're. No, you're no, no, it's just literally power. a random thing. Okay. So okay. it's about okay. getting these power ups. Well, it can come down to getting these power-ups and then uh, using them at specific times. So okay. you're coming into a sprint, yeah, love it. you've got your aero helmet, you click the button, puts your aero helmet, it gives you a bit of an advantage. Yeah. But do you still have to be strong in the legs to win these things? Oh, you still have, you, yeah, 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 but yeah. you can game it. So there, there's, there's advantages so and disadvantages. Like to e-bike and literally turning it up a little bit as you... Not yes. an e-bike, no, no, I know, but like, yeah. say you it's, did, you know, a little It is boost. a game. It's, it's learning where to be, the where to put your power in to so get yourself up a hill. So there's strategy. strategy. So you have, you have these pros who really do this well with sheer power, but then you get gamers that understand how the game works. Yeah, right. And they know what to do with it's the power, cool. where to do it. And I think they were called the all-star team. So that all-star yeah. team, you know, took on professional riders and you can still beat them. So you being the Zwift, Zwift king, so yourself, king yourself, you'll be vying at Cycling yeah. NZ to get one of those E National Championship jerseys, or? Well, <laughs> I don't think I could quite Just own it. If so there's a, yes, 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 go yes, yes, yes. yes. yes the team ride team. live. If there was team. a Your representative, we're going to win it. And I'll, okay, talking about old people. Oh yeah, it's a bit rude talking about us. Um, <laughs> but the 96-year-old who won the. Uh, Did you ride? Yeah, who took the hour record for 96-year-olds. He did 20-something? 20, 20 yeah, 20-something kilometres. But kilometers I'll tell you what, is that, um, I've been a coach down there at the Velodrome. Yeah. And he, he does not hold back. You know, like, I mean, it's just amazing as a start of that, you're still on a bike at 96, and let alone to go and get the best hour record. I mean, that's just incredible. This yeah. is a New Zealand man who's yep. taken this, the world record. He's yep. taken yep. the hour world record yep. for that age group. So essentially, yep, yep, 95 plus. And so what you have to do is ride as many laps around the track as possible within an hour. And so he rode 20.6 or something kilometres. That is so good. Yeah.
Man, the G-forces so on a 96-year-old's body. <laughs> Be like That's a forty-three year old's buddy, I reckon. <laughs> and at the end you deserve as many Werther's originals as you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you Nothing give those to your grandson, yeah. don't you, Werther's yeah. originals? Um, hey, I think it's time to unbox something else. Yes. We have got more things to unbox. Em, em, what have we what have we got? What can you Well we thought we'd uh, we thought we'd drop a page in it this week. Uh, we've got something she's completely familiar with. It's a drop a post from Pro. Cool. We're going to pass this wow. over to you. Do, you. do you need a pair of scissors? Uh, yes, I will. Right. So, Pro, obviously owned by Shimano. No, well-known brand yes. and uh, known for durability and quality. So, um, it's the first of the dropper sets they've brought out. So, that's pretty exciting. Shall I cut while you talk? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. <coughs> Thanks, John. Um, and so, yeah, I mean... I'm not going to lie, I don't have one of these myself, but would love not one. Not on your gravel bike? No, not on my gravel bike. And um, I've got a mountain bike, but I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a rookie when it comes to mountain biking. But, I mean, this could make me an advanced rider. You just never know these days. So, um, dropper seats obviously used while out mountain biking, and you can just literally flick with the, your thumb and it drops down the seat, and um, it makes it easier for going down hills, i.e. when you're standing up out of the seat. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. So alien to a roadie like me to want to put something heavy that, that heavy onto your bike. You know? Yeah, it but is. It's 600 grams. So yeah, it's not um, not exactly light. So it comes in the box. We've got um, this is the flicker for the handlebars, the, the, so that you the can the just flicker. flicker. Yeah, oh, I don't know what do you guys call it. <laughs> what do you oh, guys call it? Just say flicker. Um, one it? flicker. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, my God. Uh, button, maybe? <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. So the, so the button, like, Leave flicks. It. So Leave in it. other words, that pumps the seat back up and then lets it drop down. And these are the cables. So it's internally cabled, which is good, which means that when it goes in the seat of the bike, it can actually drop down through and then up to your handlebars, which and is where you... punishment, Tim... You do have to put this onto your giant. <laughs> yeah, they say it's doesn't really actually, easy to install. Does it fit into an ISP, does it? So, yes. So, um, what else I've heard about it? Um, it's, it's a good price. It's affordable, um, from what I understand. Um, it's good to see that um, Shimano and Pro have gone into this category because um, it's one that sort of doesn't have... It, I mean, it's got plenty of competition, but it's super expensive. So, coming in at a more affordable price. Um, yes, yeah, so I costing. think pretty much a lot of mountain bikes will come with the standard dropper post. Oh, really? Nowadays. Really? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Um, but this, yeah, generally the, the, the dropper post is for when you are riding off-road, which I do all the time. Um, well, I do have one of these on my mountain bike. Mm. Mm. That's pretty serious. How and this is going to... Um, fit with the GRX range, because obviously the Shimano Pro, the Shimano GRX range uh. includes um, the full suite of things you'd need on a gravel bike, including dropper posts. So this is, I wonder if it's probably a similar piece of kit. And, yeah, and including range. what, it, do they do an electric version? Wow. I don't know. Somebody tell us. Do they, they do could. an electric version, a DI2 version of the dropper post? sort of things yeah, these it's, days, it's, right? It's, it's, it's just hydraulic. hydraulic. Yeah. And so this is an alloy one. I don't know, do they do carbon ones these days? Mountain bike? We obviously know too much. Yeah, so... <laughs> hey, Tim, um, Tim, yes. Why don't, why don't you figure out a giveaway with regards to the questions you just had? So oh, giveaway, yeah. giveaway, oh giveaway, fantastic, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we need your help to school us on dropper posts. So what we'd like is for our viewership mm -mm. to... What did you just break? Oh, what? I didn't actually break something. Did I? <laughs> I think you just like, <laughs> trod on a wire. I think you just trod on a wire. Just trying yeah, to be subtle off to the side here. Yeah. <laughs> to something over there. Get, don't get me wrong, Em. We're not giving away a dropper post, are we? No. Well, no. We're going to give that back. This has got to go back to, back to Shimano. Yeah. So, um, Paige is wonderfully modelling uh, the caps and t shirts. So, yeah. So what, what's the, what's the, what's the what's question? question? Yeah, what's the question? That well, I is... Think, I think the person who um, provides the best information about dropper posts in the comments below... Yeah, in one sentence, will... describe a dropper post and why it's so good. Yeah, why, how, why, how why did a drop... Paige put one on her yeah. bike? 
because yeah. I don't have one on my mountain bike at the moment. Why should I get yeah. a dropper post? Why should I spend an extra three hundred dollars and get a dropper post? Great, Love cool question. So Great. comments uh, in the comments below. Tell us, and we'll pick the best answer, and we'll send a t-shirt or cap and your size out to you. Awesome. So we're right. going for a t-shirt and a cap, yeah? T-shirt. Yeah, double whammy, double right. whammy. Why right. not? So, so, so also stuff. put your, with your description, please put in the comments your size of t-shirt as well, just so we have it there ready. That's great, that's great. Send it straight to well, you. Take, in detail. Takes, Very good. Yeah. Takes all the communication out, really. Don't yeah, need and the stay and Yeah, efficiency, yep. you know. All right. right. Em, what have we got next? Um, Hold on. Okay. Is this Tim's segment? No, this no. So this is, is this, this is the comment that you dropped off. So we have a communication channel. This is the news item that you dropped in earlier yep. today. Oh, yeah. It's time for a rants and raves. And the rant and rave today comes from Australia, where a new survey has released some figures about cycling accidents over the mm -hmm. last few years in Australia, and the change in the way the figures have shown up in cycling accidents. And they showed that about. <coughs> In the year 2016, about 12,000 people ended up in this hospital in Australia due to cycling accidents. Sounds a lot, awesome. but the real news is that it is up 60% since the year 2000. So in si okay. over the 16 years, that number has gone up mm. 60%. Still, they are at pains to point out that cycling on the road in Australia is still a very safe sport. It's still a low percentage of people riding. Mm -hmm. but. The most interesting thing in, in, the, in the figures is that the skew of who is falling off their bikes, oh. who is hurting themselves, is changed. So the demographics of people ending up in hospital has changed. Okay. So it used to be, in the early 2000s, it used to be about half of the people ending up in hospital were kids. Now... Which would be about right. In, mm. the tw in 2016, that number is only about a fifth. So oh, only wow. a fifth of people hospitalised under are 16, kids now, right? yeah. and the people getting hospitalised now are, you guessed it, males over the age of 45 years old. See, that's why the we should. Warriors. That's why so. we should stick on Zwift, isn't it, really? That's why well. we, we should stay. <laughs> <laughs> off the road Can you even fall off Zwift? <laughs> and it's it's a bouquet, and it's a brick, but it's a bouquet that kids aren't hurting themselves as much. But it's also it's it's a rant and it's a rave. You know, it's a it's a it's a rave that the kids aren't hurting themselves. But it's a rant that it's the old people that are hurting themselves more. But I think it shows more than anything that the sorts of people that are riding bikes now are changing. Biking is booming, mm. accidents are up 60% because cycling is up, who knows yeah. how but much. The, but that's, that's, the, that's the grievance with me, is like how many children or how many kids back in 2000 were riding their bikes compared to 2016? That's mm. a lot. So a lot, is there a, a shift more. in how more? many of those or kids less. are actually on the bike? Yeah. Like in 2000, were you out riding your bike? In 2016, were you sitting on PlayStation. some PlayStation? Netflix. Netflix, yeah. sitting on your butt. Yeah. yeah. Doing that's stuff. not a grievance, right? That's, that's, we've got to look behind these figures. What's caused these figures? That's mm. really yeah. the cause, right? Yeah. Fewer kids riding nowadays, more older people getting yeah. out on e-bikes, getting out on mountain yeah. bikes, right. old roadies and people like this. Maybe people that, that never ri have ridden before. People that aren't used to the roads. Yeah, it's it to do with our infrastructure too, right? Because you think, well, if more people, as you say, over the age of 45 yeah. are out on bikes, well, firstly, that they probably haven't ridden on the road in years. A lot of people get into it, and uh, it's great to see e-bikes coming about, but people that are jumping on them haven't got road safety and awareness. No, and, and they go at issue. such a speed. Like, at yeah. least if you're under pedal power and you're on flat, you, you've got that sort of... Speed yeah. limiting factor. Speed <laughs> <laughs> leg limiting factor. Yeah. When you jump on and you jump on an e-bike, you're pretty much, well, we're getting into a different conversation now yeah, on e-bikes, yeah. but as soon as you get to up to that speed, you don't have that mm. control. Like, we don't have Peter Sagan's bike handling skills even slightly. No, and that's what I mean by infrastructure though, right? So we don't have the bike paths to put, you know, that, those sort of riders on. Yeah. And if we, if we don't have that and they're out, you know, willy-nilly out on the streets, at all, at, you know, most of them get out, you know, at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. I mean, well, that's when the traffic's yeah. worse. That's Tim you're describing out Tim. there willy nilly on the streets. Oh. I'm out there, <laughs> I'm out there nilly, but I'm never out there. Nilly. Nilly. <laughs> but Tim will do both <laughs> most days. <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Uh, so there you go, that's, uh, that's some uh, statistics about safety, and let's hope we get, we get more riders, but 
safer places for them to ride, more mm. experience, and also get the drivers more used to sharing that road with riders. Well, before we move on, quickly, me and you were mentioning beforehand, though, is how much we think that Auckland drivers have actually progressed yeah. and become more friendly around cyclists, yeah. right? If Auckland's a measure of cities around the world experiencing a bit of a cycling boom nowadays, yeah. and I think it probably is in a lot of ways, yeah. in, in a sort of a naive cycling country, we're not like mm -hmm. the Netherlands, we're not even no, like this, you no, know, some no, parts no, of the no, UK. No. No. But I think you're right, I've noticed in the last year, years, 20 yeah. years of riding, that yep. drivers are much more considerate now, they're much more aware, they pass you further away. Yep, tolerable, lay. Eh? There's not so much rage. <laughs> How quite nice. many times do you guys ride out west of Auckland? Mm. That, yeah, yeah. It's Demo point. Demo maybe, maybe <laughs> comes into if you're not an Aucklander, you've got to know that the West is like the West in quite a lot of cities where there's, mm. I don't know what you'd call it, it's a different part of the city. It's, mm. a, it's a vehicle culture it's a vehicle where culture part of the vehicles city. are more common. Kind of like bumper cars a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit like the yeah. Wild West, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I, I, I'm not sure I agree with that. So some regions yeah, maybe. Yeah, may, maybe regions, but maybe I'm just biased. Yeah. Stay out of the Obviously. west, stay east. Yeah, yeah. just Go stay east. going along the waterfront, the stay yeah. going Go on east. the flat. Don't come out <laughs> our way, don't go up the hills. I think it's time for us to wrap it up. Have we got anything else? Em, have we covered it? Yeah, I d maybe, um, maybe we could get Tim to explain one of his latest Instagram posts. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. This is a feature which yeah. which surprised him. With Paige and I There's some there. people that don't As know. We have an Insta famous person <laughs> so, um, with us tonight. What we thought we'd do is just a um, couple of hundred have a look followers. At, um, Oh, so no. maybe while we saw Tim's teammate out cycling this morning, who did you Tim actually was who did you see actually taking photos rather than driving? <laughs> I was, I was yeah. out Instagram. So. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna ask you, Tim, to please explain. What's Just please explain. Tim has got an Instagram account, mm. and I'm trying to hold it nice and still so you can see it. But on this Instagram account, literally all you show is you and your friends. Looks like Freeze. you've got about four of them riding <laughs> they your bikes, rotate. always wearing the same outfits. You it's can't actually, tell who it's actually three. We just interchange one. <laughs> <laughs> you just one wears leg warmers one day, one wears them the other day. And and there's just like incomprehensible close-ups of your legs going round and round, kind of skewed and off-level shots of the scenery going well, past. Well, if I could offer some oh, excuses, sort of over-filtered pictures of the sky. Instagram. Most of it's just sky. It's hey, blue. that's no filter. That's just that's just that's straight pure off New a, Zealand, right? That's just straight off a GoPro. So, um, oh, so what's GoPro's going on here? the secret. So GoPro's the secret. You hear that? Yeah. GoPro is the secret. Bed. It makes yeah. everything look good. <laughs> Chuck a couple of filters on. Maybe we should GoPro this. Play. Maybe this should be GoPro. Yeah. Um, so as, as you get a little bit older and you get a little bit slower, you need to find something else to fill your time, mm. apart from True. it just taking mm. longer to get to the end of your ride. Mm. So what better way to do it than to use your extra cash as an older member of society mm. to purchase some more gadgets, right. including So you kind of run out of gadgets, like you'd got your MIPS helmet, you'd got your dropper seat, and now you're just like, well... I suppose this is the next thing on the list. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I've already fallen for the aero bike position. Yeah. You know, no point in having a light bike when no. you're not going up any hills. <laughs> so what can you do next? Well, you can take pictures of yourself and mm. put them online. And by the way, this video is still going. We've been talking about this for like a minute and a half. John, the video is still going. And nothing, yeah. nothing it has happened. Just revolves. Yeah. Oh, is it? Does it just revolve? Just repeats. Yeah. So, so yeah. check them out at any rate. T balls. Yeah, so T balls. How do you? Underscore, what is it? T, T B A double L Z underscore T C. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the name? How that came about? Okay, mm. the oh, name, right, the name came about from a friend of mine called Frank Simons, who is like uh, shout out my cycling wife. So oh, nice. shout out to Gramps Insta on oh, Instagram. Wow. Okay, okay, another one. Um, yeah, another one. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea why I became T balls. Okay. But it's stuck. It, it started a long one? time ago. And generally in the team, we've got quite a few names. N nobody really goes by their own names okay. in the team. So it's nicknames. And so mm. your team races? And um, our team... Incomprehensibly. Races fun rides. <laughs> <laughs> Incomprehensibly, uh, T-Balls, with a Z underscore TC, has almost 7,000 followers. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. 6,797 followers, and they all want to look at pictures 
of table oh, writing as well. So, so <laughs> all, to all five people watching this, get on Instagram. Yeah, it's the way Check forwards. us out. Just we'll watch that yeah. number tick up. Hey, uh, <laughs> great. Thanks for joining us at the Ride Live here at Giltrap Skoda Newmarket. Uh, we'd like to thank Giltrap Skoda Newmarket for being who they are and doing it so well, uh, as you and, can see. And we'd also say, come in and see them for a sweet deal on your new or used Skoda. And also Shimano New Zealand. Oh, we're thanking Shimano too this. for this keen dropper post. Are you, are you going to keep that? Em, does no. you get to keep that? No. No, it's going back. It's going back. I still reckon that I don't have a dropper seat, so... All right. Anybody want to sponsor a page, a dropper post? Drop us a line. Yeah, in the Absolutely. comments. <laughs> that's so us, that's guys. it. Well, tell us what you think uh, in Good the comments up. below. Uh, did you like this format? Should we do it again? And remember to like and subscribe the ride, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you, Paige. Thanks, Em. Thanks, John. Thanks, Guild Trap. Thanks, T. Thanks, Thanks, guys. guys. Thanks, Bye. Everybody. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Woo! Oh yeah, that's now, all professional. Is, 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 this, like the, is, is this like the news bit where we talk at the end? Oh, yeah.